Hey everybody, welcome back, Falcon. Holy Potatoes, a weapon shop, episode number two. Again, we're doing a little bit of a mini-series on this for now. How frequent it comes out is going to be based on your support, so let me know in the comments and by leaving me a like to see if you want to see this more often. If I'm correct here, we already have Thief and maybe Archer, if I'm right, close to being maxed out, and even the Fighter as well. He's like level 9, I believe, after the last uh, weapon that we sold him. So I'm thinking we probably max out Thief and then the Archer. So for the Thief, we need some iron to make him another dagger, and for the Archer, we should be able to go now. So you know what? Let's make the bow for the Archer, max him out, and then when we're out there selling weapons, we will actually pick up some more ingredients to make the, der the Dirk. Or I guess we'll name it something else, but it's a Dirk for now. So we'll go with the bow here first and foremost, and let's see here. Let's pause here for a moment. Remember, for a bow, we are looking for speed. Oh, that's a <laughs> wrong weapon. For the bow, we're looking for attack power and accuracy. So that means, um, excuse me, attack power, you're fine. So you stay there. Bulk Bogan, you come over here and give Reset Peters a hand. Oh, there you go. And we want to boost the accuracy for sure. Now, we're up to 3,000 starch. How do we want to use this money up right now? Is it worth it by actually maxing it out? I'm I'm sure that because the archer is already level eight, we don't really have to boost it too much to get it maxed out. So I'm thinking we probably just throw like some money at Prever Tillips over here from GTA 5 fame apparently, and um, just go 392. I think that's pretty ideal. So we'll have, or should we just go with Reset Peters? I have a feeling that even with Reset Peters, we should be able to max out our level, right? Maybe. I guess I think it was going to work out. Or should we just go with the shirt thing and Prever Tillips here? Eh, let's go with Prever Tillips. I wanted to actually use Rusted Peters to level him up a bit. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm sorry for flip flopping so much about it. Rusted Peters, I want to level up my own people as well here. So yeah, you boosted here. It's not going to be that great, but you know, every little by little we should level him up down the line and hopefully he will become a good booster down the line. Only four boosts though, that's actually pretty bad. My dog, you were supposed to get me like at least five or six boosts. Alrighty, well we'll see if we max it out or not then. I hope so. So the bow's ready to go, we need to name this as well. We already made the Biggie Smalls bow. And, um, let's see here. I wish I could see a history of my name bows right now before I named this one. Oh, let's see here. We, we apparently had a little rap-oriented naming thing going on for the last episode. We'll still try to swap it out this time around. Let's go with, um, a bow. A bow. Uh, let's go with... How, how long can I make this? <laughs> That's what she said. No, she's never said that, unfortunately. Uh, that's as far as we're going, huh? I... I was in, I wanted to go with I got my eye on you. You, you get it? Instead of the eye, we use the eye, but it's not going to fit, I'm pretty sure. Ah, we'll call this the... Little Bow Blue. Instead of a uh, Little Boy Blue. Is that even a thing, Little Boy Blue? Why does it sound like a thing to me? I'm not sure. We're going to go with Little Boy Blue, though. Or Little Bow Blue, I should say. Anyway, so primary stat and attack power backing it up. Good. We are going to be sending... Eh, excuse me, choice of fate. I was actually going to be selling this weapon, but no. An elderly potato in a lab coat comes by. He asks, are you a boy or a girl? Well, I am pretty certain I'm a boy, my friend. He pats your head and hands you a magic-y computer thingy. It'll make good padding for wobbly furniture. Alrighty, so, oh wait, Bo Bogan got a speed update, which is actually pretty good for one day, though. I don't think we'll be able to actually take advantage of that boost, uh, which would have been pretty ideal since we want to make a dagger next right now, but we don't have the ingredients for it. So, oh well. Let's go over here to the world map. Remember, we want to sell our weapon and also buy a few more ingredients as well. So we'll come over to a new village, where we will be picking up Little Bow Blue, and we'll be selling this with, um, let's just go with... Bulk Bogan, just for the extra uh, extra bit of money we'll get from his level 2 merchant skill, and we'll send Reset Peters to buy the ingredients for us. I think that's actually pretty good. So start selling, and now we're going to come to the world map again, and we're going to be buying some items here. We want to go with iron to make the dagger, right? Which we need five. We have two, so we could go three. Do we have enough money now to actually bulk buy a bit? Not Bulk Bogan, but bulk buy. Um, we could buy eight of those for now. Bronze, maybe like get like, I don't know, three more? And rope, maybe like, I don't know, three more? Let's get everything to like almost five at least. Or maybe a little bit more than five. It's gonna cost me 666 or 660. That's actually pretty good. We could afford this right now. So yeah, yeah, let's buy a bit more of extra items just so we have them in stock here, ready to go. Magic dust. If I buy this now, is that gonna open up some magical weapons for us? Or is that the next town over, maybe? You know what, let's just buy like two for now just to see if it works out. And we're gonna be sending Rustet Peters over here. Start buying. Alrighty. Lara Croft, you're going to be hanging out here by yourself for a while here. I'm not sure what's going on with her breasts, though. It's kind of really unnerving. Anyway, Rosset Peters is back. Excellent. Thank you for buying those items. And you come back over here to your station. Vogue Bogan, let's see your buyers here. You are going to be able to max out our archer friend. Good. 
So it's gonna be one dude down. So obviously we're going with him and sell it off. He'll back out and give us some more money out of it. Yes. All right. And it's ready to go. Oh, we have a choice of fate first and foremost. Agumon wandered into the shop again. That pesky Digimon. Anyway, we are gonna see if he finally wants to Digivolve or I guess Bitvolve. God damn it, Agumon! Why don't you evolve finally? Anyway. Uh, we have some decent money coming in from that purchase, and that's going to max out this guy. Is that going to be an A rating? It should be. There it is. There it is. All right, good. Now, Bog Bogan, you come over here. I'm going to be sending... Ooh, we have more shop fame. Excellent. Lara Croft, you come over here as well, and we're going to be forging ourselves now the dagger. We could go with an axe as well to um, max out the fighter. The fighter or the thief are ready to be maxed out anyway. But since we haven't really focused too much on Lara Croft's abilities, I'm going to send... Both of you over here to work on your attack here a little bit. Nope. Back to the workshop. And we're going to be forging ourselves an axe now. And you have my axe! Hand axe, and again, it's going to be focusing on attack power and accuracy. So we'll leave um, Reset Peters in the accuracy station, and let's go forward with this one here. Uh, obviously, we want to boost our attack power here. Now, let's see. We're up to 3,000 again. So let's see. Who do we want to boost this beyond any other limit, or should we just give Lara Craft the crack? I will... No, not literally the you know, crack like narcotic. I'm talking about like, you know, give her a crack at, you know, maxing herself. You know what I meant, okay? It's not crack. She doesn't have a drug problem that I'm aware of. So I'm gonna give her the chance so she can level up here a little bit, start boosting with her. Three and one. Three and two. So because she's been actually working on the speed station on occasion, she's actually boosting speed as well. Interesting. That's really good to know. Alrighty. So you guys continue working on that one. That's gonna max out our fighter and we'll get our second objective done finally. You guys are sped up? You guys are. Alrighty. So, I'm gonna name my second axe over here. So, I think the first one was the Gimli axe, if I'm right. This time around, it's gonna be the, um... The Bearded... I was gonna go with the Bearded Marauder, but I don't think it's gonna fit, is it? Oh! Oh! I'm not even sure I, I'm not even sure I spelled it correctly. I think I did, but I th it's not gonna fit. So, it's gonna be the Bearded Terror. Yeah! Alrighty. Bearded Terror. Amazing axe name for sure. A lot of attack power, some accuracy in there as well, a little bit of speed too. And we want to sell this off, obviously. So, come over here. Who's going to sell this weapon for us is the real question. Boke Bogan, are you almost at level 3? Oh, are you at level 3? You're almost at level 3. Mm, I guess we'll give Boke Bogan the shot at this one. Start selling. Alrighty. Total, pa uh, total salary payable this month. So remember, we have to pay our, our people as well. So it costs us 600 to pay them for this month. Now, they have actually increased in terms of their income because we've been leveling up as we go along here. So now, uh, Lara Craft's going to go up to 290 a month, 340 for Boke Bogan, and 340 for Reset Peters. So, um, yeah, boosting them up will actually increase your salary, so you definitely want to make sure you have enough money for that. All right, so right now we're just waiting for Boke Bogan to get back over here. He's got a buyer, and obviously we're going with the fighter here. That's going to be our second dude maxed out, so that's good. Make that happen. We should have the buyer. There he goes. Transaction complete. That's going to be our second hero maxed out. And we have a new objective now, which I've never seen before. I've never gotten past this point. So let's see here. Grade A. It's worth every starch. Yeah, you bet your damn potato ass it is. Now, Bog Bogan, you come back over here, my friend. Alrighty, so now we have our... I guess our colleague. He owns most of the store, Agent 46. We are just kind of... We own... What did he say we own? We own 0.01% of the store. He owns 99.99% .99 of the store, if I remember correctly here. Uh, that's a big part of the store that our father left us here. Good morning! How was the blacksmithing? How's the blacksmithing been coming along? Oh, I, oh, I wasn't trying to skip it. <laughs> I thought you meant, like, skip forward. Oh, no. Anyway. Well, I'm sorry, guys. I... That's my bad. Do we have, like, a auto load that I can check this out really quickly? I, I feel upset that we skipped it so fast. Uh, month two, second year one. Uh, this sounds about right. Let's see if we can load this up again. No, we missed it completely. I apologize. I I hit skip. I thought I was going to skip to the next line. Anyway, we have a choice of fate. You see a pale, sparkly potato st uh, stud standing under a tree. Blush shyly or drag him into the sun. I'm going to drag him into the sun so he actually grows. There you go. He starts to burn. Oh, no. That's the wrong thing. <laughs> he starts to burn. His ashes somehow... Coleskate into a pile of starch. What a thoughtful potato. Hey, we got some money out of it, though, so I'm not going to be complaining too much about it. All right, so now our new objective is going to be unlock Murky Miso Marshes, which is probably the next land over, if I had to imagine here. How do I unlock that? Let's go over here to the world map and find out if there's something I have to do over here. Let's see. Shop for items. Um, so is that it over here? What is this over here? 
Oh, here we go. Murky Measle Marshes is locked. Would you like to change activity to expand business? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So we need to one fame to unlock. Is that what you're telling me? One ticket. Yeah, we have like two of those, don't we? Yeah, we have two tickets. Yeah, unlock with one ticket. All right, so let's unlock now. Excellent. So over here, we can sell weapons, explore, vacation, and train. Where marshmallows grow on trees and miso soup flows in from the earth, yum. Actually, it does sound pretty delicious. Let's go over here and, um, what? We already unlocked that sale we can do, huh? Alrighty, well, at least we unlocked it. Maybe we could sell some particular weapons here that we couldn't beforehand. Expand business, expand your... Okay, yeah, yeah, that's what I just did in there right now. So for the next um, town over, which is going to be the Tower of Root Beer, we need five tickets. Right now we only have one left over, so the more fame we acquire, we'll actually be able to unlock that one. So over here we can sell weapons, explore, vacation, and train. Interesting. Interesting indeed. What if we, um... One second, what? Nope, no, no, come back over here. I wanted to... Explore! Oh, okay, send a smith to explore for materials, enchantment, and relics. Interesting, yeah. Let's give this a try. So, this will be 15 hours? Hmm. This island cannot be explored. Yeah, we want to explore the murky Mish uh, Miso marshland. So, let's see here. This is new to me, so give me a second while I kind of get adjusted to it here. Where marshmallows grow on trees and miso soup flow flows from the earth. Yum! Uh, Multitaxing, boiling, and bullet hour. Possible smith effects. Interesting. So, these effects will be positive and sometimes negative. The boiling is obviously really bad, negative 15 speed and attack, and bullet hour, negative 20 magic, and plus 20% attack. Multitasking to be accuracy and attack power, interesting. So time taken, 15 hours to actually come over here and check it out. So yeah, who do we want to send over here? Uh, everybody's a level 1 explorer, this will be our first exploration going forward. So you know what? I think Lara Craft is the perfect potato for the job. I mean, exploration, that's all Lara Craft is all about, right? So we will send her over here as well. And that's actually pretty ideal because remember, these guys are leveling up as merchants in a sense. So yeah, we'll start exploring over here with... Can we send more than one person? No, only one, huh? Okay, so Lara Croft it is. Alrighty. So, send a smith to explore. Alright, that's what I actually did. Good. Good. Very, very good. Very good! And we might as well speed it up here a little bit. And she's done now. I think you can use these. So she brought back two materials, two enchantments, two relics. She brought back four iron, one wood. <laughs> enchantments, she brought back blazing kernel. Which is actually dazzling plus 40. Add some butter and salt and you're all set for a movie night. Oh, it's popcorn. And we have flashy nuts. <laughs> yeah, we do. Light plus 40. This nut can disappear in a flash. And the relics we got were the wilting laurel. The leftover wreath worn in the recent pota potato Olympics. I get you. In stock one. And these are common in that area. Anything that we got that was actually rare. No, they're just common. And then the rusty axe head. Part of the axe used by the seafaring vikings. Make it sharp. Okay. So what do we do with these items is my question. You come back over here now. Come back over here. Alright, so let's try not to skip this time around, huh? Woof! That's the sound of the police. Woof! Woof! That's the sound of the potato dog, apparently. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. Yeah, can we, like, have me stop barking here? Who's there? What do you want? Woof! Holy potatoes! A potato dog? You're damn right it's a potato dog. Slobbering all around. Hmm, do you belong to someone? You look so well fed. Bark around. Wine. Ah, don't be sad. What happened? Bark? Snuffle? Oh, come on. I'm not gonna make all these sounds over and over. Well, I don't know. You are pretty cute. The Smiths seem like you seem to like you, too. I guess you can stay. But first, you need a name. Oh, I gotta name this guy now, huh? Oh, what do you call this guy? It's gonna be, um... Starchy. Uh, like, you know, like Lassie, but Starchy? Yeah, you get it? Do you get it? It's supposed to be funny! Laugh, goddammit! <laughs> starchy it is. Starchy and Husk, right? Or, no, not Husk. Hutch. I'm getting my weird references over here mixed up completely now because of this goddamn game, renaming everything just slightly. Um, I'll call you Starchy. There are many potato dogs like you, but you shall be mine. Stop splashing around, dog. Wait! Starchy! You do that outside! Oh, good god, he was peeing all over the area. No! Alrighty, so... Our next objective, sell weapons to deliver 1.250 experience to heroes. Okay. Oh, doggy's there. Anyway, let's um, pause here for a moment then. Oh, hey, we have Deadeye, One-Eye Jack. He's a level 10 explorer. He wants accuracy, he likes daggers and wands, he, does like, he just likes bows and axes. Interesting. We have hunters now as well, we have a fencer, we have a bandit. Ooh. Ooh, we could probably make a dagger for this bandit as well. So how do you research these, I, I wonder? I guess we'll probably open it up at some point. 
All right, so let's um, consider, before we actually make a new weapon here, let's do see if anything else is unlocked here. So can we send, like, multiple explorations, I wonder? I imagine you probably can. So I could send her one more time to maybe unlock a few more of these things. Yeah, let's give us a try one more time. What I would really like to do is actually um, acquire some more people to work at the station here. So we could have people crafting while we have some other people exploring. So she brought back five materials and three relics this time around. More iron. Ooh, a ruby. It's epic in this area. That must be rare. We have rope, wood, and magic dust, which is also apparently epic. Interesting. We have uh, wilting laurels, we have some more rusty axe hats, and we have the dusty arrowhead. Alrighty. So now let's craft, and let's see if maybe crafting with these items that we have now will probably open up something new for us. So Laura Craft, you come back over here. What's up with the dog icon? I have to feed you. How do I feed you? Uh, I'm not sure if that's just there for, you know, funny sake or what, what it's there for, but whatever. Show you some faith. You see a little girl crying by the roadside. She's lost and hungry and wants to go home. Let's help her find her parents. Oh, come on. I try to do something nice and something bad happens. The little girl is actually a decoy and her parents appear to beat you and seal your start shortly after you say hello. We lost some accuracy with Boke Bogan. That's unfortunate. Anyway, we try to do something good and that happens. I think we're ready for our next weapon, so let's go to forging here. Now then, let's see here. Let's go and start leveling up, or maybe the bandit, right? We want to sail to Steven Steelmany. I like it. Dagger and speed, right? Okay, let's go with him. So we'll definitely have to make another dagger because we have no other weapons unlocked just yet. So let's start on that one. We have enough iron to make that happen as well. Excuse me for a second. We need speed, right? So people are going to be going to speed and magic, huh? For the daggers. Well, we don't have a magic station, unfortunately, just yet. Uh, we're selling to this guy, so he likes speed, and I guess we'll probably focus maybe on more accuracy. So you come over here to speed. So I think that works out pretty good. Doggy man, oh, we need a boost, and we need speed. So boost over here with speed. Now for this one, who do we want to use for that one? Since we're selling to a more higher level individual, I guess uh, an expensive boost would be pretty ideal this time around. So Bulk Bulk is at 54, we have Matthew Matic at 78. We have Master Wong at 150 here. And let's see here. Have no boost or penalty to their job performance. Steve Mobs last time around was actually attack power and speed, if I remember correctly. So, do we want to go with Stevie Flounder? <laughs> Cost a lot of money. Let's give Stevie Flounder a try here. It's going to be a, a bit expensive, but remember, this is a level 10 individual, so yeah. Uh, he gives you a lot of different boosts here. I want to just a main focus on speed. Stop it, Stevie Flounder! I want more speed than anything. Well, I guess it's fine. Alrighty, so you guys continue working on it. Max it out here. They didn't give us a chance to actually use a relic or anything like that, so I'm still um, under the impression of how you use those, but I guess we'll find out down the line. We have an area event, though, the park. Did you hear? A dinosaur hybrid escaped from a nearby park. People must be terrified. The event's in the last three days, and we're going to be getting more starch and hero experience for all sales. Ooh, nice, because we're going to probably be selling there anyway. That's good to know. And our dagger is done, so we need to name it now. This is going to be... Hmm, what do we go with this time? It's going to be the, um... Yeah. We're going to sell this to Steven Steelmany, right? So, this is going to be the... Steven, I think you steal so much, so this is going to be the Steelless. Or actually, wait, wait. Steel... Less. <laughs> yeah! Play on words are great. Anyway, there you go. Now we actually want to sell this, so we're going to be sending sell weapons over at Merco Murky Miso. So, the Steel Less is going to be for sale by... This will probably get Bog Bogan up to level 3, so we'll definitely be using Bog Bogan for this one. And meanwhile this happens, we might as well have um, Laura Craft go back to exploring over here. So this will get her up to level 2 as well. So you go over here and explore. Excellent! Alrighty, we're making some progress here down, that's for sure. Doggy, I'm not sure what you're all about. Alrighty, so, Bulk Bogan. Oh, good God! That eye just freaked the hell out of me out! I never even noticed that eye. Anyway, we're looking for Steel... Steel Many. He's not here. Oh, there he is. There he totally is. He was gonna give us a lot of money for it, too. He's gonna level up six times. That's actually pretty good for a level 10, dude. So, yes, you are my... my culprit here. Sell it to that guy. Excellent. And you're done exploring. You brought back the Sapphire, which is it happens to be uncommon. A few more extra items and a few relics as well. I still need to find out what those are for. I guess we'll find out soon, hopefully. And you and you level up your exploration. Excellent. 
And you come back to your station. Now, Bo Bogan, what do you got for me, dog? You got a lot of money, you got a level up as well, and you got a bonus because of your levels. Excellent. This guy level up six times. Weapon rating A. Yeah! Alright. Bog Bogan, you come back over here. Oh, and check that out. Sell weapons to deliver 1.250 experience to our heroes. We're 83% done with that one. That's really, really good. So, we sold that off. And I do believe we can probably wrap it up here today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support. It does mean a lot. Um, with your support as well, we will try to make this more of a frequent series as well. So again, leave your likes and leave your comments and I will try to... We'll see how often this comes out is what I'm trying to get at here. But hopefully you guys are enjoying it. That's the most important thing. I will catch you next time.